The fall webworm is probably a terrible name for it because it doesn't come out only in fall and it's also not a worm. It's a caterpillar. The species that we were looking at is the fall webworm, but really what we're trying to investigate is why is there this difference in species richness from the tropics to the poles? It's a tropical rainforest. I mean, in literally two seconds, you can see hundreds or even maybe thousands of species. Whereas if we go somewhere much further north, we're gonna get fewer and fewer species. So we don't actually really know why this, this latitudinal diversity gradient exists. By understanding this one small piece of the puzzle, maybe we can make better predictions for what might happen under climate change. So the fall webworm has these two distinct color morphs. One is very red, one is very black, and that's a really nice delineation for us to be able to tell these two groups apart. iNaturalist is a crowdsourced science website, or some people use the term citizen science. All of the photographs are being sourced from just ordinary people going about their lives. At the end of it all, we reviewed over 11,000 images spanning a continent. And so in the case of the fall webworm, we know that it's not a case of what's called allopatric speciation. In the simplest terms, speciation is a process whereby one species becomes two. So in allopatry, that happens because of some kind of physical barrier between those two populations. So what we might have is something called allochronic speciation. Allochronic speciation is speciation through time. If we have two populations and they're appearing at distinct points in time, they're also never going to encounter each other and are able to differentiate from each other. We saw really clearly that the further north you go, the shorter the season, and actually the less divergence between our red and black morphs. And so as a result, we see this separation between the two populations because they've mated and produced offspring at different times of year. It was really interesting to see that the pattern of the effectiveness of allochronic speciation really aligned with that gradient of speciation, that higher species richness in the south. Because if they can become two species more effectively, that might explain why we have more species.